Hi, in this lesson, we are going to explore how to create high-order components in a storybook. Let's do it. First of all, what is a high-order component? This is an advanced pattern in React. And sometimes you can solve with hooks what the high-order component usually solves. But in my honest opinion, sometimes hooks are not the best solution. Let's take a look to our current situation. Right now, we have this closure that is getting the CSS module and the props. If we move this into a hook, we still have to pass the styles and the props. But with a high order component, we can just pass the styles and the props will be included since high order component can access your props. A high order component is just a function that will return a new component. So let's see how we can do that. I'm going to create a new folder called hook as high order component. In this folder, I'm going to create a new file called with the styles. Remember, higher order component are functions. So here I'm going to import React because in this case, we are going to return a new component. And then I'm going to import my helper function that is called get classes because that's the whole point of having it. But the function with the styles is going to receive the styles and then it's going to return another function that is going to accept the rapid component. So then, we need to create the new component that we are going to create based on the component that we are wrapping with this high order component. So it's going to be called why styles component, because as I said, this is going to be my purpose. Apply the styles. This is just a normal component and we are going to return it at the end. So let's see what is going to have the with the styles component. So first I need to get all the props from the rapid component. And for that, I'm going to create a new object that is going to spread the default props of the rapid component. So I'm going to access the default props and then I just merge this with my new props. Then we are going to return the rapid component with a few modifications. So first it's going to receive a new prop called get it styles. And this is going to be the function that we are going to use later. This function is just the implementation of get classes that remember is going to receive the styles and then the props, in this case, all the props. And of course we need to pass the props. So I wonder why I do have to pass this twice. So remember that our function here in the car is receiving the styles and the props that we are going to use to get the classes. So what we're basically doing in this higher order component is do exactly the same but just pass all the pros in case are necessary. And then we will have the get styles ready to use inside. But because this is the rapid component, of course it needs its own props to work as usual. Another thing that is nice to do is take the with the style components, as in this is a functional component, we need to define a display name in order to see it better when we debug. In this case, I'm going to say, this is exactly the rapid component display name, right? So I just need to export uh, default div with the styles and um, let's use this hook. For that, I go into car and um, this is going to be pretty easy. So now I need to import my hook. I'm just going to import styles and then I going to receive these get the style props. Remember the rapid component, in this case, the car is going to have this new prop. And because I already have this function, this is not necessary anymore. So we are having less code here. And as you notice, we don't really need these props anymore, but let's keep it. Meanwhile, I receiving this new get the styles is important to define the prototypes. So this is going to be a function and this function is going to be required this time. And finally, let's use our hook. Remember it's a hook, not a hook. It's completely different. So in this case, we just wrap this into with the styles is going to receive the styles that we already are importing and then is going to receive a second argument for the return function that is going to be the rapid component. In theory, that should be. Something is going to happen, but I wanted to show you yourself. So let's check how it looks in a storybook. So if we go to a storybook, we can see that something is odd. We are missing some of the default styles. And this is because Storybook is not really good reading higher order components. But we are going to fix that in our next lesson. In our next lesson, we are going to write a few helpers that will make easier our work with the Storybook. 
See you in the next one.